pista. Hello everyone, Clack of the Geek here. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is Easter Sunday, so hope you're all well. Hope you're you know having a nice day with the whole rule of six thing. Hopefully, you, I hope you've been able to any I don't know meet any family or friends. And I'm gonna do a Q&A. You guys sent some cues, and I've got the answers. Let's go. So the first question comes from Mario Bowser 494, and he asks, "What are your favourite YouTubers?" Um, this changes on a dime. It depends on who I watch and how frequently I watch them. But at the minute. I'm gonna go with Adam Martin. He does a great, he does great Doctor Who YouTuber videos. He does a great series on like Doctor Who viewing figures. He does a great podcast series. He does all kinds of different content, and I just love his videos. I've watched them recently, and he's just brilliant. But there are some genuinely great Doctor Who channels out there. Or, you know, there's you know the likes of the Who Addicts, the Crispy Pro, Ace Creeper, Doctor Adventures, the Confused Adipose, etc., etc. Next question: What are some overrated Doctor Who stories? Well. I appreciate the most under overrated is the end of time. I think I've made that clear, but I just don't. I don't like the end of time. It's too long, too waffly, too overindulgent. The tenth Doctor is really unlikable, in my opinion, at least. The Master is awful. The Time Lords are kind of wasted. The regeneration. It's just got so many problems. But there are some good things about it, isn't it? But yeah, I'd say the end of time is pretty the most overrated. What's your favourite quiz show? Probably the Chase. I tend to. That's one that I tend to watch most often, and yeah, I do like it, it's, it's quite fun. Thoughts on these TV shows? Okay, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, I've watched like two episodes of it, but it is good, I do like it. How about your mother? Again, I've watched like the odd episode of it, hey, it's, it's alright. It's a bit, a bit of a, like, sort of a watered down friends, if I'm honest, it's alright. Forty Towers, absolutely banging, I look, I've watched series one, I need to watch series two and I will do, but oh my god, Forty Towers is amazing. Would you rather be upgraded or deleted by a Cyberman? I'd rather be killed by a Cyberman. At least it's a quick, painless death. If you're upgraded, you're still kind of alive, but you're not yourself anymore. You're just this cold, hollow shell, and it would be horrible. Along with the end of time, what do you think of the most overrated Doctor Who stories? Yeah, yeah, so, as I said, end of time is the most overrated, in my opinion. Doomsday, the series 2 finale. I, I like Army of Ghosts, the first part, but I don't like Doomsday. Cybermen are just pansies in it and Rose's exit I don't like but in terms of other stories as well uh, Curse of Peladon I'm not a big fan of I think it really I think it's really boring the 10th planet it's it's not bad but I it's nothing amazing I don't think worst movie ever Pff, the emoji movie I guess I'd probably have to say that which Doctor Who actor would you most like to meet living or dead um anyone really I mean I'd love to meet any of the doctors so Tom Baker because he's getting on now He'd be nice to meet. Peter Capaldi, he was my first Doctor, so that'd be great. Uh, Chris Eccleston, I think, you know, not just because of Doctor Who, but I think, obviously, Chris, uh, Chris Eccleston is a brilliant actor, just in general. So I'd love to meet him. Um, some, of the, some of the other characters, like companions and stuff, like Fraser Hines would be quite cool if they Jamie um, in the second Doctor. Who's, but yeah, that'd be great. In terms of deceased actors, I'm probably Patrick Troughton, because he'd be a very lovely person, I imagine. Why do you hate the Doctor's Widow on the Wardrobe? I find it really fun and just overall good. Look, I haven't got a problem. If you like a story that I don't, that I wish I liked it, you know, but as long as you respect my opinion, you know, uh, it's fine, you know, and, you know, just say why you enjoy it. I, I've not got a problem with that. I'd I'm glad you enjoy it. For me, I did give it a rewatch, and I found some more positives with it. I think Matt Smith's brilliant. Claire Skinner's a very good guest star in it. It looks very nice, and the, um, the ending scene is beautiful, but... I mean, there's some really cringy moments. I mean, Matt Smith, there are a few cringy moments with him in it. And there's some other really cringy moments. The kids are really annoying. Bill Bailey's in it, but he's completely wasted. There's, like, these wooden people, and it's just... I just don't get it. But then the, the big thing that I don't like about it is just the fact that you've got all this cringy fairy tale stuff in this snow planet and the wooden people and all this stuff. But then you've got this other thing of a father dying in World War Two, and the mother has to keep it from her kids. It, it's really distasteful. I don't like watching it. Opinion on the Paradigm Daleks? Well, these guys from the you know the Matt Smith era, I like them. You know, what's the problem with them? They're not, you know, sure they were colourful, but you know th this one here is from a style of the Daleks. You know, they're more shiny. Yeah, they look great. You know, they're, they're very tall, very imposing. I like the eye as well. I think the main problem is that they just didn't really do a whole lot. That's there's nothing wrong with the design, I don't think. I, I thought I would have liked to see what they would have done with them. Can we see your Sonic Screwdriver collection? You can, if you go and watch my 2020 New Year's Eve Q&A.
Favourite cartoon, old or new? I mean, when I was a kid, like very, very little, I used to watch like Thomas the Tank Engine, Bob the Builder, Winnie the Pooh, and I used to watch, I, I, I always love uh, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and Star Wars Rebels, and even watching some of those now, like catching up on the ones that I missed, there's some great episodes, genuinely, like, I mean, yeah, there's some really good episodes of that, and I've also been, I've also been getting into South Park recently, it's funny, it's f so funny, uh, uh, it's amazing. Who are the most underrated and unknown Doctor Who channels? Um, I can't name specifics because if I did, I would inevitably miss somebody else and I would be kicking myself for it. But I mean, basically anybody with under a thousand subscribers, because that's kind of like, because Doctor Who is a more niche topic. You know, people with like 10k, 20k subscribers, they're like the, the front runners in terms of Doctor Who YouTube. But yeah, anyone with under a thousand subscribers, because there are some genuinely great smaller channels that you know could get out there because yeah there's some brilliant channels out there top 10 doctor episodes new and classic uh i did a video on that like about a year ago a year and a half ago now um and it, it's mostly the same but there are a few new i might do an updated list on that but it, go check out that one if you want to see what it is now there are a few changes but yeah have you ever read of the london eye i haven't no i haven't i've never been to london i don't think which is you know odd because like England isn't just London though, but yeah, I would like to go to London because there are some really cool landmarks there. What's your favourite meal? Please don't say pizza or burgers. I wouldn't say pizza or burgers. Pizza and burgers. I need to stop being such a st an awkward sub with these questions. In terms of actually my favourite meal, um, I like a good roast dinner, you know, like chicken, I love a good chicken dinner, winner winner chicken dinner. Um, a, ch a Chinese takeaway, they're nice. Is acting a part of your career plans? I, yeah, very much. I would love um, acting and filmmaking. They're sort of what I want to do. Uh, sort of a mix of both. But yeah, acting is definitely part of my career plans. Have you ever wished you could perform in a Doctor episode? Possibly even playing the Doctor. I would love to play the Doctor. But yeah, I would love to be in a Doctor episode. I mean, I'd, I'd love to play the Doctor, yeah. But I, honestly, I wouldn't mind playing the Master. I, could, I think, because I mean, I've never played a villain outside of my sketches. In terms of like... Whether it's like school plays or amateur theatre, I've never really played a villain, so that would be something I would like to do. I mean, actors always say all the time, like, oh, the villains are the most fun to play. And it is true. Favourite video from yours of 2021 so far? I love probably the Life of Brian sketch. Love that. I, it's I'm, one of my favourite sketches that I've done, but there's some other good ones I did. Um, the podcast that we did, Mr. R Productions, because Mr. R's asked this question. Um, some of the ones that I've done with Ronnie, like the, the, Ro the Rose review and the End of the World one. Uh, yeah, it's been great. It's been great collaborating with Ronnie again. But yeah, favorite part of our podcast, um, either the Spider-Man Stay at Home bit, or the um, I'm going to science my way back into existence. I mean, that that podcast it was full of memes. Are there any plans for the inevitable 200 subscribers special? There are. There are going to be some plans because I have started writing a script for it. But uh, yeah, yeah, yes, there are plans for it. Are you going to make Spider-Man stay at home? Possibly. Yeah, <laughs> that, would, that wouldn't be that bad to make. I'd like to do that. Any big announcements for the future of the channel? Um, I've got some ideas of like where I'm going to take some, some video ideas, some where I'm going to take the sketches, but I don't want to announce anything just in case I disappoint. Also, I'm on 260 subscribers. You're worse than Ronnie for bragging about your channel. You are. With the talk of Jodie leaving, who would you like as the next Doctor? I mean, my dream choice would be Chris Bowie from Red Dwarf. You know, he played Rimmer. Um, I think he could have... He could have like the co comic timing of like Troughton and Tom Baker. He could have sort of the ego of Chris Eccleston and Colin Baker, and maybe the the sort of the seriousness and gravitas of doctors like Pertwee or Capaldi. Chris Barrett would be great, but in terms of the Fourteenth Doctor, um, I mean, I think maybe they should go for another woman, just so it's like, you know, just so they can sort of normalise it, I guess, you know. Uh, Keely Hawes would be very good as, the, as a female Doctor, I'd very much like her. Would you be okay with Joe Martin having her own series of The Doctor? Yes, I would. I love Joe Martin in Future of the Gin as the, you know, the, the Fugitive Doctor. She was great. She'd be good as the 14th Doctor, to be fair. Like, she was brilliant. Abs absolutely. I loved her. She had so much more potential, but Joe Martin was brilliant. And I would love to see more of her. What is your favourite and least favourite Doctor Who story? Favourite would be Vincent and the Doctor. Least favourite would be Hellbent. What Doctor Who monster would you like to see in the next season? So, series 13... I mean, we're getting the Sontarans back, which um, and and the Weeping Angels, which two very welcome additions in my opinion. I, I'm glad to see them back. So there's other monsters, Sea Devils, they'd be great. I love the Sycorax. Uh, you know, I'm not just a cameo. I, I know they did cameo in Revolution.
but as a proper story I would like them. Which doctor do you think likes Issa the best? Um, oh, maybe Jodie's doctor. I think she she probably would like Easter. Maybe Matt Smith as well. Maybe Troughton. I know Capaldi definitely wouldn't like Easter. I definitely not. But yeah, Jodie's doctor. I think she would suit an Easter special or a Christmas special because it is that very sort of fun energeticness. I, Jodie would be perfect for a Christmas special. If there was ever another Easter special, what do you think it would be about? I think it would be the intergalactic Easter egg hunt and basically like the ghost monument from series 11, but they're looking for Easter eggs. That that would be amazing. I mean, a, an intergalactic Easter egg hunt. Like, I know it sounds stupid, but I'd love that. I would love that. Get Chip, no, Chibnall. Get on that. If Doctor Who ever bases an episode on a movie, what would you like them to parody? E.g. The Greatest Showman. I would like a musical um, Doctor episode. So The Greatest Showman isn't isn't a bad idea either. But, um... Uh, ooh, uh, Titanic. Maybe just because I want a historical set on the Titanic. I think maybe that could be one. Um, maybe, maybe Hot Fuzz or something. That'd be... Could you imagine that? The Doctor just lands in this English village and it's like, everyone's killing people. That That would be... That would be kind of cool. I, I, that wouldn't be too bad, to be fair. Maybe Back to the Future, because they're both time travel plots, you could potentially do that. Maybe. Anyway, uh, that was the last question as well. Thank you for everyone too, who asked questions. Uh, I hope you had a lovely Easter, or I hope you're having a lovely Easter. And uh, this is Clack of the Geek, signing out. Right, I'm going to have this now.